Hello guys, so today we'll be talking about Cloudflare. If you use a website, this is the most important tool that you should use. If you are not using it, I highly recommend you use this tool. Cloudflare comes with a lot of features and the best thing, all these basic features you can use with a free plan. Just to name a few, first thing what you can do with Cloudflare if you got a weak hosting or if your hosting is not very powerful, you can use Cloudflare to distribute the load of your static resources like JS files, CSS files and images to Cloudflare. So it works as a CDN instead of serving all this data from server, it serves from its own CDN servers. And second benefit is you can get free SSL. If you are paying for a SSL for your host, you can stop doing that and you can use Cloudflare and get a free SSL. And it comes with a lot of security features, so it prevents DDoS attacks and multiple type of attacks on your website. Another benefit of Cloudflare is it comes with performance mode so you can set up different kind of performance like minifying JS, CSS and HTML files. It has rocket loader, it has broadly compression. There's so many features comes with Cloudflare. And you can see it is used by a lot of multinational companies like Mars, L'Oreal, IBM, NCR, Shopify, Thomson Reuters, Zendesk. So there must be some benefit with Cloudflare. That's why these companies are using Cloudflare. So in this video, I'm gonna explain you what the benefits of Cloudflare. And once I will finish the benefits, I will show you how you can implement Cloudflare on your website, step by step. Okay, you can see this is my website. On the left side, we have all the actions. On overview, you can see the data about website. So you can see I got 2.29K unique visitors on my website in the last 24 hours. And around 100,000 requests. Among them, 60% were cached. Cached means they are served from Cloudflare. So instead of giving all this load to my server, Cloudflare took off half of the load. Okay, so today we are going to cover a few things. Overview, Analytics, DNS, SSL, TLS, Security and Speed because other things they come with paid plans and today we are going to cover only free plans and this is really sufficient for you if you run a small website or if you run a blog. Okay, so let's see everything one by one and once I show you all these things, if you will be satisfied that you want to implement Cloudflare website, I will show you how you can implement Cloudflare on your website. I highly recommend you to use it because I'm using this from so many years and this is really a blessing for me. It keep my website safe, it keep my website faster and I get the free CDN, so why not? And also I save my money on SSL. I do not pay for SSL to my host from so many years now. I use only cloud for SSL. Okay, so left side we have analytics. In analytics you can see in last 30 days I got around 2.7 million requests. Among them 2.08 million requests were cached by Cloudflare and the remaining were uncached requests. And you can see web traffic requested by country, just hover on a country and you can see United States got 93,000 if I hover on Russia, 476. Hover on any country, you can see number requests from the country. And then you can see Cloudflare saved me almost 140 GB of bandwidth. Then we have security. You can see there were 9.2K threats on my website, which are blocked by Cloudflare. And you can see the top country, which gave all these bad malicious requests. And same like traffic, we got a heat map of the countries. Just hover on country and you can see how many threats you receive from these countries. So this is data for past 24 hours. I received 38 requests from Canada. 40 from United States, 24 Russia and then if you scroll down you can see what kind of requests these were and there are different kind of analytics for security. Then we can go to performance. Performance we have overview of all the data. You can see in past 24 hours save me 4.49 GB of bandwidth. So 59% of data was cached served from Cloudflare. And then you can see content type breakdown. The JS was 30% responsible which were cached by Cloudflare. So Cloudflare cached the non-sensitive data which will be JS, CSS files and images so you can see all this data cached and served by Cloudflare and then we have DNS overview and the workers we're gonna cover DNS more in separate section so let's click on DNS when you add your website it scan all the DNS records from your website and it serves as a shield for example there's a visitor and there's a website so Cloudflare acts in middle like a security channel so if somebody requests your website instead of this request going directly to the server Cloudflare serves this request to the so it saves all the DNS records and you can make change any of the DNS records from here. I'll blur this section for security reasons. And then you have DNS settings if you want to change some DNS from here. Then we have email, we're not going to cover the email because this video is more about free SSL, taking off load from website, security and speed. So now we click on SSL TLS. So you can see here we have provided four options of flexible full full strict. So off if you want to have unsecure website, I will not recommend you why somebody will have unsecure website. Then we're flexible. You need to use this option if you do not have SSL on your server. This is a flexible option. If you want to use the Cloudflare SSL, you do not want to buy different SSL on your server, you can use this option. And then we have full strict, which, which need to add a CES certificate on server provided by Cloudflare. So for most of you who don't want to buy SSL, you need to use the flexible option. And then we have multiple settings for S certificate, client certificate, origin server, custom hostname. Most of you will not need this option, so I'm not going to cover these options. 
and then we have security this is one of the most important features provided by cloudflare which is security you can see live events there that which ip were blocked and why and which country this ip was coming from you can see how cloudflare handled this request so you can see those from pakistan on fab6 it was managed challenge and the access rules was country just click here you can see the whole detail here and then we have web application firewall okay so this is really nice feature i use this feature all the time so what you can do you can add multiple rules here the five active rules comes with the plan and for a small website a blog that's enough just to give you overview what you can do with the firewall rules click on create firewall rule i already used my five rules which comes with free plan so i cannot add more but i can show you what you can do with it so give it some name rule and then select the field for example if you want to block a country select country here equals and here you can choose the country which you want to block a lot of people buy plugins to do this function on their wordpress website or different kind of website but with cloudflare you can do this for free and there are multiple option here what you can do with web application firewall depending on you what you want to do here you have a lot of options to achieve that thing then we have page shield page shield is pro feature we're not going to cover this feature then we have bots if you're facing some issue with bots on your blog or your website you can use this feature i'm using different software on my server so i'm not using the bots feature from cloudflare but it works real nice but if you want you can use this feature then we have ddos you do not need to do anything here by default cloudflare block all the ddos attacks on your website then we have different settings for security this is really interesting one from here you can choose the level of security normally i keep it low but if you want you can keep it medium and high and if you think your website is hacked you can use am under attack mode and cloudflare really really nicely handle these attacks or threats so if your website is hacked you put it in am under attack mode and then once you clean the website you can keep it to low medium or high normally i suggest to you if you do not have a big issue on your website you can keep it at low settings access the paid feature not going to cover this and then we have speed speed test it comes from google pay speed scores if you want you can run the test from here and you can save the history of these tests in cloudflare and then we have optimizations okay we have image resizing which is a pro feature polish is a pro feature but then we have auto minify you can minify javascript css and html files i will not suggest to you if you are using a plugin for minification on your wordpress website or your any different kind of website do not use this feature here but since i am not using there so i am going to use this features here then broadly compression which speed up page load time for a visitor https traffic by applying broadly compression and then we have early hints if you watch my video with lightspeed cache which is one of the most popular video on my channel lightspeed cache also provide this feature so if you are using lightspeed cache and you are using early hints there or you can see instant load you do not need to use this feature here but if you are using a different plugin which does not provide this feature you can use early hints here it will instantaneously improve your website click speed and then we have rocket loader this is a very interesting feature it makes your website fly but it comes with a challenge if you use this feature you will not see a lot of big difference in google page speed scores but in real life your website will be really really fast until few years back if you use this feature you can get very high score for google page speed score but now they kind of change their algorithm so now if you use this feature your website will be really fast but it will not improve your website speed scores a lot then we really done setting which needs a configuration on your host we're not going to cover this thing and after we have all this option so most of them are paid and for most of you you're not going to need this option if you want to use the free plan but in future i will make a videos about this paid features also if you're interested let me know in comments want to watch a tutorial on any of these options okay so now i hope you're convinced why you should use cloudflare if you're convinced let me show you how you can add cloudflare to your website okay so this is my website and if you want to add this website to cloudflare first we need to create an account on cloudflare you can click on sign up then you can enter email and you can choose a password and then click on create account i already have account so i'll just directly log in Okay once you are logged in you will see this option on the top add site so click on add site then you need to enter your website domain name here make sure you do not add https in beginning and then click on add site and then you need to choose your plan so we're going to scroll the page we're going to choose the free plan then click on continue for most of you free plan going to work really fine now cloudflare is scanning for the existing dns records like i told you before cloudflare act as a shield in middle of your visitors and your server so cloudflare is in middle So it scan all the DNS record from your website, and if somebody want to attack your website, they have to go through Cloudflare. So Cloudflare scan all the DNS records. If you do not see any DNS record, you can add those record manually by clicking on Add Record. And once you satisfy all the records are here, click on Continue. So what you need to do now is you need to log in into Domain Panel. As you can see, there are four steps. Log into Namecheap account, remove following name servers, add Cloudflare's name server, save your changes. And register can take 24 hours to process name server update. It says 24 hours, but normally I experience it happens much faster within few minutes. So you need to log in domain provider. I'm going to show you example for name cheap, but the process is same for any domain provider. If you want to watch a complete video, how you can change name servers, 
you can check the description of this video and once you logged in in your namecheap account or any account just click on manage and then you need to find the advanced dns or some hosting provider like namecheap they provide this option directly here where you can change your name servers you need to find this option where you can change the name servers and as cloudflare provided us the name servers we're gonna copy this and they say we need to replace this one with these two so we'll go here I replace ns1.a2hosting.com with the Cloudflare one and then this another one and then I replace with the second name server. Once done, I click on save. Okay, DNS server may take up to 40 hours to take effect. So once you have changed your name server, you can go back to Cloudflare and then click on done, check name servers. And then it will present you a quick start guide, click on get started. It will tell you to choose the options automate HTTPS redirect. You can save this option because we want all the requests to be directed as HTTPS. And then always use HTTPS. We will also enable this option that click save. Then optimize performance, auto minify. If you're not using any minification plugin on your WordPress website or your any kind of website, you can choose this option. Otherwise, you can leave this option. Save. Then broadly compression. You can enable this option. We already covered all this option in the first part of the video. So I'm just going to click on finish later. Okay, so domain transfer complete, your transfer is complete. Cloudflare may be still ensuring your name server correct. Okay, so when the DNS will be changed, you will receive an email from Cloudflare. Their website is now live on Cloudflare with a free plan. So once your website is added successfully to Cloudflare, you can take benefit of all the security options, free SSL and performance boost. And you can distribute a load from your website to the Cloudflare servers. And then I would like to thank you, we are to 5,000 subscribers. I really appreciate your support. And if you want to watch such more amazing content without wasting any of your time, which you will not find easily on YouTube, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to make your website security bulletproof, check out this video on screen. I explain how you can use WordFence to make your website even secure. So you use Cloudflare on the top, you can use WordFence to make your website really, really safe. And if you want to know how I achieve 100 out of 100 Google PageSpeed score, check out this video on screen.